All right, guys, I'm on a beach. I'm not on a beach very much, but this is my extended family. On my uh, mother's side, this is Anna Maria Island in South Florida, Tampa Bay. And it's the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I'm basically just going to include this footage in whatever video I do next. So, we'll blog a little bit of vacation. Hopefully, I'll get some fireworks on film here in a minute. There's Landon and Julie. There's Little Parks. Bunch of family. Big family of fishermen. So, we will uh, get back with y'all after a bit got some professional fireworks set up here so hopefully uh we'll be able to see these pretty good from where we're at and i'm delighted to be here with you and i just wanted to share a thought that i had i was as i was walking down the beach with uh, robert peacock there i call him bobby some people call him robert i call him bobby it looks like it's really bright out here but it's not yeah. Boom. We're going live on YouTube. <laughs> Landon's laughing good. Oh, there's a big one. All right, guys, so quick little tour of the beach house. Well, here's the driveway. We have a golf cart, and you basically just drive this around everywhere because the island's pretty small. So we've been renting this house every year since 2007. So we have like this little hallway that comes out. And this is pretty cool. That's totally a diaper on the floor. But this is like a separate room. It used to be a garage. So we have Landon's pack and play and a very messy beach room. But uh, this is great. It has everything you need. A bed, a bathroom, all out in the open here in the same room. And back here is the pool and the backyard. Lots of things going on. Big screened in porch, hammock, outdoor shower, botanical gardens in the back, and then obviously the beach house. So yeah, there's Landon and Julie. My mom's in there and yeah. This is where we hang out. And so everyone here is family, tons of family. Family up here, that's my grandmother up there, Mimi Kay, Aunt Kathy. Wave, wave to the world's worst fishing people, yeah. Yeah. This guy right here can catch an alligator. Tell Mimi Kay that we have a golf He cart. is a Lake Itztapoga machine right there. Well, this is our final night. I'm sure y'all are tired of my little blog here. This isn't a blog channel. It's a bait channel, fishing channel. What? This is where I come every year. My family's been coming to this beach um, since before the turn of the century. So the island used to be completely uninhabited and you had to take a ferry to get out here. Um, nowadays, we just drive across a bridge. But uh, yeah, this is Anna Maria Island. Uh, it's in Tampa Bay, Florida. And uh, half my family's from here, so this is it. It's a wonderful place. Hey guys, welcome back to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones, and uh, today we're doing a sort of requested popular colors. Um, so I, uh, I put out a little uh, question last night on the YouTube channel uh, on the community tab and said, hey, throw me some ideas for my next video. And um, one that I saw that really, really kind of popped out at me was Love Bug. Um, so it's a missile baits color. And uh, Missile Baits has incredible colors, incredible baits. The D-Bomb is one of the best baits ever. Um, and Love Bug is kind of like a red and June Bug laminate. So we kind of have a red side here with a kind of black grape June Bug with small green flake. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some uh, dead on plastic swim bait blend here. We're gonna take some black grape colorant for our June Bug side some MF non-bleed red uh, because I don't want the red to bleed into the purple side and then some 0.015 green flake which is the small size flake and we're going to uh, do a two color laminate into our grass grenade mold it's our um, stinger mold well it's called the stinger mold but it's our creature bait we call it the grass grenade here 
And so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to make a, a, a nice little handful of those, and we're going to try to lock this color in. I've never made it. I've never even seen it till today, actually, uh, when I looked it up. So that's what we're going to try to do. Feels good to be back. I went out of town for about a week, and um, I put up a video on the 4th of July, which, happy 4th. I hope everybody had a good 4th of July. Um, that video had been already previously filmed. Um, so I haven't even been out here in like almost two weeks. So feels good to be back, feels good to be home, and uh, we're gonna see if we can make this color. All right, so these are both uh, three quarter cups uh, measured out, but these are smaller cups. So if I was, uh, if I had measured out one cup of plastisol or three quarter cup of plastisol in this cup, it takes longer to cook that plastic in this cup than the same amount in this cup. You know, just the mass of the cup and everything. Um, so whenever I'm doing small amounts, I like to use these little cups because they cook quicker. So the both of those combined only need about five minutes to do both of them. And that's without stopping and stirring. That's just completely cold to cooked. And, uh, and then we'll be ready to go. All right, I'm gonna add some black grape here. This is Lureworks black grape. But I'm not gonna do too much. All right. So we're gonna stir that in. I don't want it to be too thick and I don't want it to be too dark because if I look at the picture that I have, it looks like the two sides do a really good job of laminating. They, they blend really nicely. So I don't think that one is supposed to necessarily overpower the other. I don't think, so we're gonna uh, add a little bit of that red. Okay, get that going. Let's see. And I might need to add a little bit of orange to that red. Sorry, I've got shadows going all over the place here. Yeah, I might orange it up slightly. So we're gonna do two drops of dead on orange because it's very, very thick stuff. And we're just gonna orange it up just slightly. Perfect. That made a very slight difference. And I still might need to maybe orange it up a little bit. Okay. Now we're gonna add some green flake and I'll just kind of see what I have. So just kind of the difference here. So this is brand new unopened dead on plastic um, that was in a gallon jug and you can see how incredibly clear it is. You can basically see through that cup. And if you'll rewind the video to when I had these two cups laid out here, you can definitely tell that they were not as clear and that's the kind of long-term effect of moisture that gets in your plastic buckets. It's so hard to keep things sealed up um, in a non-climate control environment. So, you know, even, even, even though the plastic still doesn't bubble and it's, and it's uh, you know, doesn't burn, you know, moisture can, <coughs> can still um, mess up your plastic, you know, because what happens is you'll you'll get that kind of layer of bubbles right something like that but because of all the moisture it, it clouds up your plastic a little bit so um, you know if you're working in a garage like I do or a non climate control environment you know really do your best to try to seal up your plastic after each use and your pigments um, you know you'll notice that these started getting bubbles in them after I added the pigment. And some of that's from stirring, but a lot of it's from moisture that gets in your actual pigment containers. So, you know, it's just part part of the struggle of working in an open uh, environment. But, you know, you can see, you can get plastic that's clear as gin right out of the uh, container, but, you know, long time exposure to moisture even in small increments can, you know, eventually kind of um, off color your plastic. It won't be quite as clear. So it's, it's a shame because this stuff is super clear, but just part of it, I guess. All right, it definitely has a little bit of small green flake. Not too much though. Uh, I'm not 
loading it up as much as I would June bug. So we're just gonna do maybe one scoop each and see what that does. <clears throat> now if I were making June bug, I would do three scoops or about the equivalent of three scoops. I would use different sizes. But for this, we're just gonna do one size. Okay, it's not looking too bad. If anything, you could probably actually use less uh, green flake. So, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting. You're kind of making red bug and June bug and laminating them. So it's, it's actually kind of on the surface, it's a rather simple color idea, um, but it looks really, really cool. So I, uh, I'm on a couple of Facebook groups um, for making saw plastic baits and uh, a couple guys go live on there pretty often. This is Ken Mitchell. He runs another YouTube channel called Kenco Fishing, K-E-N-C-O Fishing. Uh, he has some good bait videos on there, but you know, every once in a while I like to tune into the live videos and uh, see what other bait makers are up to. Keeps me honest and uh, you know, you learn tips and, uh, and get good advice along the way. All right, so we have our blending block here. So um, this particular mold doesn't necessarily have a top side or bottom side. So it doesn't really matter which side I do. So we're just gonna draw up. We're gonna place our injector in the blending block. Make sure that it has a good, uh, good fit. All right. And we're just gonna push down and hold even pressure. Make sure my clamps are nice and tight. Okay, on to the next one. I can already tell, I think I need to redden back up my orange side. It almost looks a little too orange. So we may, when we do the next round, we may add a little bit more red color to that side to redden it back up. I think I may have actually made it too orange. Um, but I'm not sure. We'll. We'll find out, but now that I kind of look at it in the mold, what in the world? Now that I kind of see it right there, it, it might be a little too orange. Fingers crossed though. Okay, let's see how these did. Let's take a look. It's actually really close, but definitely too orange. But look at that, y'all. That is really not bad definitely needs to be redder so I think if I yeah definitely needs to be more red so if I just yeah I, I oranged it up too much um, but you know if I look at the the two sides there it's actually not bad so I actually really like this color definitely need to redden it slightly and then that will be really, really, really close. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit of straight cherry red because that will give it a dark red look, but it will not thicken it. That's a very, very uh, see-through color. It's very translucent. Okay. That's already more red. Maybe just a smidge more. Now this color does bleed, so I don't wanna use too much. The good thing is purple is a dark color, so it's not like I'm laminating it with a watermelon or a white, God forbid, or anything like that that stains too easily. So just smidge more, and we will try that. And that, I think, will work. So we're going to, that might need a 20 seconds or so in the microwave, stand by. All right, so we have our cups in the uh, cup angle, so we're just gonna kind of rotate them to get that glitter stirred back in a little bit. Okay, looking good. Make sure and put our left-handed glove on, bring the molds over. Okay, and we're ready to shoot. So, I'm gonna draw up as much as we can. All right, here we go. Round two, checked, hold a little bit of pressure. All right, move on, checked, hold a little bit of pressure, okay. Just wanna get through these quickly. 
I ran out of plastic on that one. Oh my God, people. F and amateur hour. Dead gummit. All right, we're gonna try to use the last of what we have to try and squeak out this last mold. I, I don't know if I have enough. I didn't before, so we'll just see if we have enough this time. I mean, that was absolutely every bit of leftover that I had. And I think we may have gotten it. We got it. And that is where this angle cup holder really saves the day. Drum roll! See what we got. Yeah. This should. Yes, sir. That looks a little more like it. Boom. Yep, it's like a June bug and red bug laminate. And I absolutely love the tails where they come together. Yeah. That's pretty much it, y'all. I've never seen this one in real life, but just kind of... I looked at about three or four different pictures with it. Some were just regular pictures in somebody's hand. Others were the, you know, enhanced professional pictures. And that looks like that's probably really close if you were to have a sample in hand. I think that looks pretty good. All right, and here is that group going in the bath and just to contrast let me go get some of the other ones okay yeah so there are kind of your two your two different parts there or your two <clears throat> two different uh, looks and you know I mean you you could probably argue that you like this one better or this one better I think this one's a little closer to the actual match in all reality it's probably right in the middle who knows but uh, yeah I think these all I think those all look pretty good. What do y'all think? Well, there's another look at the two different uh, ones there. So we have the orange, the first run over here on the right, second run on the left. Let me know which, uh, which ones you guys like best. I, I tell you, they're both absolutely killer. I think this one's a little closer to, to what I'm seeing in the picture, but you give me this one and I'm not complaining. All right, guys, well, that's gonna wrap this video up. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, like I said, shoot me a comment down below. Let me know which one you liked. If you like the one that's a little more orange or the one that's a little more red. Um, either way, um, that's definitely in the ballpark of Love Bug. Uh, it's a really cool color, so, um, you know, you could probably tweak it a little more and lock it down. Again, like most of my videos, this is my first attempt. Um, and or my first attempt of the day. I don't like practice ahead of time during the day um, Even if it's a color I've never done, but uh, Yeah, I think it's a really cool color um, Let me know what you think and again. Thank you guys so much for watching your support helps keep the channel going so please like and subscribe show it to your friends and uh, We'll keep uh, rolling out the content. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time